The Simpsons season 35 finally answers a Bart Simpson question I've had for decades. Although Marge's relationship with Bart has been something of a mystery for decades, The Simpsons season 35 is doing a good job of illustrating their surprising similarities. On paper, the Simpson family seemed to follow pretty straightforward, disappointingly retrograde gender roles. Homer is a calamitous, dim-witted gookball, while Marge is a loyal wife who cleans up his many messes. Bart is a rebellious underachiever who loves pranks and chaos, while his sister Lisa is a thoughtful, sensitive, and academic child. However, even though the Simpsons never age, the characters have grown and changed enough to problematize these simplistic categorizations. One of Bart's most moving stories saw him salvage a nest of eggs after inadvertently killing the bird who cared for them. Meanwhile, Lisa has been known to partake in some seriously dubious schemes when she knows she won't get caught. While The Simpsons season 36 might take a step back into more predictable terrain, two episodes in season 35 have highlighted Marge's underseen dark side. Although season 35 episode 13 didn't ditch Marge in the wilderness, it did illustrate a wilder, more animalistic side of her character and solved a long-standing series mystery in the process. For years, viewers could reasonably have wondered how someone as cautious as Marge raised a son as wild as Bart, since the pair have diametrically opposed personalities. The obvious answer is that Homer's antics undo Marge's positive influence on her son, but this doesn't cut it for a show that has spent over 750 episodes in the company of this family. Both season 35, episode 2, A Mid-Childhood Night's Dream, and episode 13, Clan of the Cave Mom, explain the discrepancy with a surprisingly believable and poignant justification. It turns out the pair aren't as different as they seemed. The reason The Simpsons constantly mocks Disney is that the long-running series rails against the schmaltzy sentimentality of family entertainment. To this end, The Simpsons rarely wraps up episodes with sweet moments of understanding between parents and children when a more cynical twist is available. However, A Mid-Childhood Night's Dream and Clan of the Cave Mom both proved that Bart was more anxious and aware of his social status than he lets on, while Marge is more adventurous and unhinged than she seems. In the process, the two episodes saw these very different characters grow to understand each other. Although their storylines were similar, the two episodes kept viewers invested in their stories with different stylistic approaches. Clan of the Cave Mom includes segments set in the Stone Age that illustrate Marge's primal brain functions, while A Mid-Childhood's Night Dream features trippy sequences that use Michel Gondry-esque imagery to move through Marge's subconscious. While The Golden Age of The Simpsons featured similarly ambitious outings like Season 8, Episode 9, El Viage Misterioso de Nuestro Jomer, The Mysterious Voyage of Homer, and Season 7, Episode 4, Bart Sells His Soul, these mostly focused on the internal worlds of Bart and Homer. In contrast, both of Season 35's episodes privileged Marge's perspective, using these unexpectedly experimental approaches to bring her subconscious world to life. In the process, the show shone a light on her and Bart's shared similarities. In Clan of the Cave Mom, Marge's insistence that Bart needed to one-up Milhouse was more mean-spirited than Bart's pranks. Meanwhile, in A Mid-Childhood Night's Dream, Marge's determination to document Bart's bounce-a-thon was mirrored in Bart's stress over the pressure of outdoing the preceding year's photo prank. Despite their differences, Marge and Bart's motivations were largely the same as both sought safety in acceptance.